things. Um, so today I'm announcing Durin, which is our mobile app, um, which is to give access to IPFS content over on mobile devices. Um, right now that's pretty hard to do. Um, so yep, we're allowing people to access that stuff. We're enabling uploads to web3.storage. And uh, by building this, we have a platform now to explore some of other things, peer-to-peer -peer stuff, whatever, on mobile. So going over some of the features, we use what we call a caching gateway, which I'll explain a little bit more going forward, to determine what the fastest gateway is um, to the mobile user's connection. Um, we'll take a CID, there's an input in the app, or you can, um, if you're using Safari, anything that's not Chrome right now, if you click on an IPFS link, uh, protocol link, it will actually redirect to Durin, fix up your URL to like a, the chosen gateway, and then open it back in the browser. Um, we have those uploads still. Um, that also, we have a list of the, your uploads that we maintain, and then we'll give you like a shareable link. You can pull the CID from there. Um, that's pretty much like all it does right now, but we have some like exciting stuff coming. Uh, the caching gateway, a little bit more on that. So basically what that is, is it takes a list of gateways um, that we already have like preloaded into the app right now, does a health and speed check on that list, and then sorts them by the health and speed. Um, it's really simple, it's not resource intensive. We're not calling it a racing gateway because we're not actually putting off every request to every gateway every time. Um, we're running it only every 10 seconds. So it fits for these like low energy, lower power situations. <laughs> Uh, so some of the future features we're looking at doing um, is we're going to do verifiable peer-to-peer -peer sharing from Durin to Durin. Um, looking to maybe do that with web extensions, desktop clients, things like that in the future also. Um, a lot of this is going to be possible because of the car file stuff that Lido was just talking about. So, since we'll be able to, light more in a lightweight way, like verify this on our end. Um, we're going to have uh, broadcast available CIDs possibly to peers. That's like changes the way that IPFS works, but you know, this is not an implementation of IPFS itself. So we might be playing around with billing on top of IPFS in this context. Um, yeah, and then hopefully maybe one day we'll do some BLE mesh stuff. That's like pretty far out, but it could be pretty exciting. And if you're like worried about us depending on web three dot storage is like the one thing, we are gonna be changing that so that We'll have gateways and then we can kind of fall back to different things. So it's not going to be dependent on one thing. Uh, so the roadmap for the peer-to-peer -peer stuff is we're going to actually start with AirDrop and use nearby in Android. And the, the plan is to send these car files over the AirDrop so they can be um, verified on both sides. Then we'll get to maybe a more like over Bluetooth, actual like more peer-to-peer -peer stuff. But this is like I think a good starting point to get us kind of thinking in that route. Um, yeah, so then the next phase of that will be testing other alternatives. We'll see what we can pull out or embed from libp2p, Bluetooth low energy stuff, like actually implementing that. Um, really excited about trying to share with non Duran clients. It's a common problem to just want to get a file just on your laptop from your phone and sometimes you email it to your, there's all kinds of weird stuff that we do right with that. So I wanted like an easy way to just do that. Um, we'll be doing the uploads to writable gateways as I mentioned and We'll do, we're talking about doing some contact API integration with sharing, which is going to be really interesting. Um, right now it's available in the App Store. It's uploaded to Google Play Store, which is pending the review. Most of that's automated, so I'm not sure why it's taking so long. So we'll see about that. Um, might have to make some changes, but it's on the way. And then if you're interested, like I really want to hear everybody's input on it. Um, let me know what's, what you hate about it, what you like about it, any ideas. Um, this is, again, our platform where we're going to be able to do like a lot of different mobile stuff. And there's really no like out of like not too terribly out of scope ideas. We can like play with a lot of stuff, right? Um, if you want to contribute, IPFS Shipyard is the organization and then Durin, browser platforms and Filecoin. And that is my email. Thank you. <laughs>